Hey everyone, welcome to another Anime Kingdom First Impressions. As you can see by the title below, this is on episode 1 of Katsugeki Token Rambu. And pretty much the big reason why I decided to go ahead and give this anime a try, because when I was looking through what I you know, decided I wanted to watch, um, it came down to, I saw this, I was like, okay, the, it looks pretty familiar, like the kind of animation style that it has. And yeah, of course, guess who it's by? It's by Ufotable. And I won't lie, that's pretty much one of the main reasons I decided to go ahead and give this a try, is because sure, I know a lot of people didn't care for the way they did Tales of Zestria. Um, I still enjoyed it. Um, it may have not been the best, and maybe you know a lot of people, you know, fans of the game didn't really care for it, which would be a big kind of way to see if they will be able to do good with this. Because so far, from what I've seen, um, God Eater, I don't know if you can say that was bad. I enjoyed it. Um, it was definitely more plagued by the delays, if anything, not really by how the story and the everything went and i know a lot of people who played the game didn't really care for the way they you know ended up changing things in tales of zestria so this will be a big you know a big way to show if they are you know a company that is not just you know beautiful animation and you know amazing choreography and stuff like that um i love fate zero and you know unlimited blade works and that's the big reason why i first you know when i first saw you photo and i was like holy shit these guys are really good this game you know this movie this movie this anime is amazing and i i want to see more that's why of course i watched god eater and why i watched um tales of Destria as well and you know sure me you know people don't really care for those as much but from the way they were you know done but i still thought they were pretty damn good the animation of course as always when i watched when i you know first watched this episode I thought, yep, this is definitely foldable. It looks beautiful. That's like the main thing for sure. Now we will have to see if they'll be able to, re you know, redeem themselves in the eyes of other people and see if they are able to go ahead and adapt this well, considering this is also based off a game which is called Token Rambu. So I'm definitely interested to see how the rest of the series does go. You know, I'm a big fan of you, Foldable, and so far from the first episode, it's a pretty interesting story. Um, nothing special, nothing new, of course, but. Um, I love the whole dynamic of it being the fact that it's like a time travel anime. I when I first saw this, I didn't expect it to be like that, but pretty much the whole story is the fact that there are these guys trying to change history. To which I, at first I was like, wait, those aren't guys; those are like evil spirits or something. So I'm not too sure on the specifics going on there, but people are sending these evil monster spirit kind of things to go back in time and change history while. The guy that we saw going in towards the end of the episode, Saniwa, I think his name was, or I saw it said in, it was in parentheses Sage on my anime list for the overall synopsis of this anime. And pretty much he's sending a bunch of the spirits of swords. That's why pretty much both our two main characters that we see at the beginning are spirits of sword, of, of a certain sword. And pretty much, you know, later on you also see there's a guy with a spear, a dagger, and I'm not too sure if the other guy is a spirit of a sword because he has a sword as well or if he's a spirit of a gun. I'm not too sure on the specifics there, but that's pretty much how it is. So it's kind of like these guys are sending back spirits and I guess like demons or something. That's what the, the guys trying to change history are and pretty much obviously our main characters are trying to stop those guys from doing it and it's around the feudal time in Japan, which is obviously during with samurais and stuff like that. So overall, it's pretty interesting. I'm not too sure how the story is going to go from here. All that we can say for at least this episode, it was a good start. It was a good introduction kind of episode. It introduced us to our characters. It introduced us to kind of what's going on, the main plot of the story with, of course, like I said before, these guys trying to change history while our main characters are trying to stop them. And pretty much, it's pretty interesting with how our main characters are so far. We have one guy who's kind of like, He'll just do his job. That's what it, if that's what the job says to do, then he will do it. But other than that, he doesn't really care. He's kind of just seems to be a laid back kind of at certain times, kind of lazy at certain times, just like non worrying kind of guy. While the other character is he's more young, he's more naive, he's more I want to save everyone kind of thing. Even though it will change history, you don't want to change something, even if it's obviously the burning of a you know of a city of a village. Um, even though that is wrong and you want to save these people, one small change can literally change everything in history, which is the whole point that you're sent there to stop that from happening. So it's definitely, it's interesting. It's one of those time travel things where it's kind of puts your, 
your moral compass on and like if you should do this to save this person but it may backfire later on in changing history and killing millions later on along those lines so it's always interesting to see especially with our main character at one point when they're running through the flaming village and there was that little girl about to be killed and you're thinking to yourself is he going to just let her die i don't think so to which of course he doesn't he saves her and he's like i thought we weren't supposed to change history and he pretty much says you know hey if that's what if that ends up changing something back in time then i'll go and kill her later on which is kind of morbid but it's kind of saying that that probably that one small child being saved may not change history but you know as pretty much most time travel things go a lot of things can definitely change from one little small change so if that is going to have a big impact later on in the series that would be pretty interesting to see if that really you know that part right there that small little event that pretty much most of us will probably forget later on changes something that happens later on in the future that would be pretty interesting and cool honestly there's a lot of different things that you can do with time travel um which makes it interesting and you know you really want to see but there's a lot of things also as well that you can pretty much just ruin by using the time travel kind of you know plot um it's definitely the kind of thing i kind of stray away from because a lot of times with time travel it's hard to really do there's a lot of plot holes and stuff like that but you never know and so far with this um anime I'm, i do enjoy the characters so far they i love their kind of sure they're kind of just your normal like you know you have this one guy who seems naive and cares too much about everything wants to save everyone and then you have the more kind of you know more wise more you know he's the one teaching the student kind of thing and it's kind of like you see that in every kind of anime but it also showed that there are different personalities with all of them as you saw going towards the end there are the other characters as well to which i did see on my anime list that they are main characters which is actually pretty weird because the younger character that we have in this episode on my anime list at least it may be wrong who the hell knows but he's shown as a supporting character so i'm not too sure what's going on there but overall action um the choreography as usual with ifotable is always on point that's one thing that I kind of, you know, missed out and didn't really, I wanted more of in Tales of Zestria is that they didn't have that crazy choreography kind of action that we did see in Face Day Night Unlimited Blade Works and Fate Zero. So it's cool to see that in here, choreography was on point. Animation, as usual, was just playing beautiful as, you know, how it usually is with Efoldsable. It really just, we just got to wait and see how the rest of the story unfolds and if they stay true to, you know, making a good ad adaptation or do they change it for something different what which of course will make a lot of people that are fans of the game probably mad but in an anime watcher only case for me at least it's kind of hard to distinguish if it's that bad of a thing because with tales of zestria i didn't i didn't i as much as everyone else was caring i thought it was okay i didn't really you know think it was the most amazing anime in the world but i was okay with the changes that they did implement in the anime in terms of in change you know in terms of how it was in the game but yeah, it's pretty much all I got to say overall. Pretty interesting, you know, first episode. I did like the story so far. Good introduction of the characters and the overall plot. Animation on point as always with Ufotable. Action on point as always with Ufotable. And honestly, I have high hopes to see how the rest of this season will go. But yeah, it's all I really got to say. We just got to wait to see how the next episodes do go. So hope you guys enjoy this Anime Kingdom review. If you have any questions, feel free comment below if the same famous and you want to talk about comment below as well and if you did enjoy it to like if you haven't already feel free to subscribe for more content and as always guys i want to hear your guys thoughts good bad how do you feel about this first episode do you have high hopes for it if you did play the game yeah that's actually for the first thing i want to ask people who have played the game how do you feel about this first episode do you feel good about what's going to be coming or are you scared from how the first episode ended up going without spoiling anything obviously and anime watchers only how did you feel did you feel the same way like i did or did you not really care for it and you just feel that it's just like how Ufoldable is with just amazing animation and action choreography and that's it? Or do you think that, you know, it's going to be a lot better later on? Leave your, your thoughts in the comments below and until next time guys, see ya!